All right, guys, I know at this point you've probably seen a lot of videos on the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, but there's some things that I haven't really been seeing, and there's some details that I wanted covered in other videos that I have not been able to see. So if I'm helping you out with that, please give this video a like, subscribe, etc. Let's get right into it. So, so far overall, in 2023, it seems like Samsung's more along the lines of refinement than giving us something brand new. And that, that started off with the S23 Ultra. I mean, yeah, the design's very, very similar to the S22 Ultra, but once you start using it, there's a lot of little refinements to where this is still probably one of the best phones to come out in a long time. Anyway, we're talking about this today, but yep, yeah, similar thing here. Not anything crazy different for what they've created in the past in terms of their smartwatch line, but a lot of refinements this year. But first I wanna start off with the build. So you have a brushed aluminum on the side of the case, but then towards the front and the back, it's more of a lustrous, shiny type of stainless steel. The buttons are nice and clicky, just as always. My own has a red accent on the top right, indicating that this is the LTE model and I've tested LTE outside and it worked really well. And let's talk about this band really quickly because this is new for this year. It looks like it's leather, it's not. For me, that's a good thing because leather starts to smell bad after a while if you wear if you wear a leather watch daily. Especially for someone like me when I'm working out, I'm, I'm using this watch as my companion because this, is, this has a lot of really good fitness features in it. So I don't want leather on it. So I'm glad it looks classy, but it's actually durable. And then when you turn it over to the back, you can see that it is actually just silicone. One thing I don't like though is the new band system, I mean, it's better than before, but it's it's but we're still not quite there, guys. It's still a pain to take it on and off. And as you can see here, I took it off just for demonstration purposes, and it took me a long time to get it back in. I don't know if that's something I could get used to. So with other watches, like the Apple Watch or even the Pixel Watch, you could get a whole bunch of different bands because they're easy to take on and off and to switch out depending on your outfit if you want to coordinate your outfit, etc. But with this, since it's so hard to take on and off, I don't think I'll be doing it as frequently as I did with some of my other watches. So at the back, it looks like you have a similar looking sensor array. Um, I know these are new improved. I will be doing further testing on them. Initially just running around and walking around a little bit, the heart rate sensor seemed accurate. If I mean, and, and that's if I compare it to my Garmin watch, which typically has some of the best wrist-based heart rate sensors out there. And it looks like you're getting a skin temperature sensor now. So that's kind of cool. So let's just get right into it, this bezel. I'm still not over the fact that they took this bezel away. It just makes interacting with this watch so much better. And oh man, when you get a call and you just swipe to the right to answer it, you can swipe to the left to, to deny the call. That is super satisfying and super useful. So you're not using your fingers to peck at a tiny screen. I mean, the, the screen is actually not tiny. It's one of the biggest smartwatch screens out there. And I'll spend a little bit more time on the display in, in a second. But as awesome as this bezel is, it's, it's great for scrolling from left to right for anything like that. But for anything up and down, I still wish I had a crown. I mean, it would be awesome if you could get both. Like if you could get the rotating bezel for swiping left to right, but then have the crown for interacting with anything up and down. I, I think if they can implement that, then this thing will be fantastic. And because this bezel is a Samsung thing, it doesn't always play well with third-party apps, including Google's. And yeah, I, I know, even though this is an Android Wear watch, because this is a Samsung watch, Google apps are, in my opinion, considered third parties. And you can tell, like, they kind of like have to hack and slash at the, at the, at the software to get it to work. So if I'm looking at my messages, if I want to scroll around, as you can see, it's not very smooth. It's very jarring. It, it's kind of like if you're hitting the page down button somewhere, but if you, if you were to use your fingers, it's a lot smoother. If I was to do in the Pixel Watch, as you can see, the scrolling is a lot smoother. So, and then, and there's, and there's some instances where, where this bezel just does not work. And so something even like scrolling through Spotify is it's, it's a little bit janky and jarring when you're using the crown versus if you were to just use your finger where it's a lot smoother, where you're not having that issue with the Pixel Watch because it's using the rotating crown. And even just scrolling through Google Maps here, you can just see that it's just missing that little extra piece of polish that I like to see 
especially in a premium product. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm nitpicking too hard. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. So th this is a software issue I'm talking about with the scrolling, and but the overall performance is great, and that's actually what I want to talk about next. Previous Samsung watches have gotten to the point where, in my opinion, they have become almost unusable. The performance, I hate to say it was just slow. Middling performance I could deal with on a phone because you know, you're already holding it in a comfortable position. And um, oh, by the way, I'm not saying that the Nothing Phone 2 performs poorly, it actually performs incredibly well. I'm gonna be doing a full review on this soon, so again, so stay tuned for that. But smartwatches, they're on your wrist, so you're already holding it up at an awkward angle. And on top of that, you have to use your fingers to interact with a very, very tiny screen. So if an app takes a little bit too long to open or the UI is sluggish and slow, you're just not gonna use it. You're just always gonna pick up your phone and use, use it instead of a watch. And so far, the performance on the Galaxy Watch 6 has been incredible, really, really fast, like lightning fast to where it's been enjoyable to use. So I had to go grocery shopping and I usually put my groceries on Google Keep and I was able to get through everything just fine, like just juggling between answering calls, text messages, and, and just using Google Keep to, to check off items as I added them to my cart. I haven't had any issues. I have found that Galaxy watches perform very, very well, like the first week or so, but then the performance starts to tank. I'm going to have to let you guys know how that does overall, and I really hope it doesn't, but so far this, this has been really nice to use. So, one thing that's different from every other smartwatch out there is how they handle notifications. So you just rotate to the left, and you can see all of your notifications. One issue, though, is you can only see one at a time versus every other smartwatch out there. You can see multiple at a time. So I don't know, that could be good or bad for you. It just depends. So like if you look at my email right here, you can see there's five here. That means that there's five emails that I haven't looked at yet. So you can click on that and actually scroll down. And these are all Gmail notifications. They're automatically grouped here. And if I want to reply, I just tap on one. And then you can actually read the entire email or at least most of it. I, I, it's been really cool that some some of my work emails, I've been able to just read the entire thing on my watch and I don't even have to pick up my phone. Yeah, so these are all my notifications. If you just want to clear them all out, you just hit this button and then that's that. And and speaking of which, one awesome thing is, man, because I, I have a problem where I have like a, I have a lot of phones, um, as you can probably see here. Um, I'm not a big YouTuber, so nobody sends me these things. I spend my own money in all these phones and all these gadgets here. I know I, I'm just not good with my money, but that's not the point right now. You can transfer this watch to a new phone without having to reset it, which is, for me, somebody like me, that is godsend. Th this will be great for me so I don't have to factory reset my watch every single time I want to switch phones. And another thing I want to talk about is the always on display. It works better than before. Before the quality of the always on display was really poor. So as you can see, that's actually the always on display now. And there's a third layer where it goes almost like, where it goes even more black. But as you can still see, like you're still able to see a lot of detail and it doesn't flicker as much as it used to. I don't know if they're using an LTPO type of display to where the refresh rate can change. I feel like if they were, they would have mentioned it. But overall, the always on display is a lot better than previous. It actually looks normal now. It does seem like it's taking a tank on the battery though. This is my first day with it. Um, so I'm gonna have to report back on that. All right, so it's been about 24 hours with this. I charged it at 100%, then slept for only four hours, but using it all throughout the day, doing regular smartwatch tasks, a small walk with LTE, and it's now 11.30 p.m., and I'm at 16%. So <laughs> one day of battery life. That just seems to be what I'm getting. And I know it's new. It takes some time to calibrate and learn how I use it, etc. but I don't see it getting too much better than this. Yeah, the Galaxy Watch Pro last year is gonna have much better battery. But overall, this is a better watch in every way. I'll see if I can get used to charging this every day or not. All right, that'll be it. Thanks guys, bye.